Hey guys, it's your girl T. Welcome or welcome back to another video. Cap like the narco, narco. Got dope like Pablo, Pablo. Cut dope like Pablo. Cut dope. Chop trees with the Draco, Draco. On the north, got Diego. Diego. Uh, today is gonna be a video where we do a back to school freshman advice. So we're gonna go ahead and try to make this video quick as we can before my storage, you know, start acting up. But I wrote down some stuff to talk about. For you freshmen, I got y'all. Like your girl T got y'all. Like go ahead, that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's um. First thing we're gonna talk about is school. That's what we talk about. Um, we're gonna talk about is high school similar to middle school? In my high school, in my middle school, it's definitely not. But like, some of the rules are similar. Some of the rules are not. Like, I feel like this year, like last year, middle schools had it harder than us high schools. Because our high schools, we're not even that bad for it. Like, the middle schools, like the freshmen that are coming in, y'all freshmen that are coming in now, they're not changing no rules. Best believe that. Best believe that. We actually been doing good. We actually been doing good. It was nothing like middle school. Middle school, you had, like, classes with your own grade. Now since you separate and you have you can have classes with seniors, have classes with juniors, sophomores, all that, like the whole school. Like and it's so weird because you don't know them. But that's just how it is. You get to meet new people. Like when you go to college, you're not gonna know none of the people. They come from like all different around the whole world. They can come from Australia and come down there for some reason to go to your school. You know what I'm saying? They come from like a lot of places, so like no high school is nowhere near like middle school. So next question. What's the first day like? First day is normal. Like when I was in when I was a freshman, I was so excited for the first day, y'all. And it was so many cute boys. I was already crushing on seniors. I was always crushing on juniors, sophomores, all that. Like it was so cute. But you gotta realize none of the people know you. You're not famous. You're not famous. So, like, you got to realize you know some of them, but you're not famous. You know. So, the first day for me, it was like, okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? It was very cool because I was still surrounded by my grade. I was. I was still surrounded by my grade. So, like, it was like some classes where I had, you know, sophomores or a junior in because it ain't nothing to be scared about. None of them is scary. Best believe that. None of them is scary. Next question. What should I focus on the most when I go to high school? Your grades. Your attendance. Because let me tell you something. Everything you do in high school will be on your record. It will. And I don't even play about that record stuff. If you wanted to fight, you should have got that out in middle school. But that would have been on your record too. You should have got that out in elementary. That would have been on your record too. But <laughs> you should have got it out like probably not even on school premises, like somewhere else. But yeah, gossips, fights. One thing you're gonna try to avoid gossip, but you're going to be in it. If you don't be in it, we all shot for you, but <laughs> we all shot for you because I was not all. I was in drama like once every time I was in high school. Like I was a drama. I wasn't even in drama. It's like kids was bullying me first year of high school. But I had to like we was just talking mess towards each other. She was getting on my nerves, I was getting on her nerves. We was just talking mess towards each other. She she was talking about my hair. Maybe I was talking about her. It was fine. But it's okay, you know I left that in the past. That's the that's the past of what you do, you leave it you leave stuff in the past. Okay? So sophomore year altercations with some other girls um it's always me and some girls or it's always me and a girl you know what i'm saying it's always gonna be a girl if you're a girl there's always gonna be a girl trying to mess with you if you're a boy there's always gonna be a boy trying to mess with you everybody gonna try to mess with you even if you don't even say not the littlest things to them i don't say nothing to people i don't even know and they still try to you know get at me but you know what i'm saying you just got to leave that either avoid that and keep going or just like I don't know, child. I don't know. Because what I did, 
was I avoided, but I taught my mess too. You know what I'm saying? I avoid, but I taught my mess too. You know what I'm saying? Cause you, I ain't gonna see like people think I don't. I don't fight. I don't fight. Fight. I don't do the violence. I don't do. I don't do the violence. I don't fight. I don't care what you gotta say about me. I don't fight. If you ain't saying in my face, I don't care. I don't care. If you're not right here, if you're not right here, if you're not right here, right here, then I don't care. I don't care. I'm not going to fight you. You're not going to fight me? I'm not going to fight you. That's just how it is. I have respect for you. I have respect for you. So, so like, for that, yeah. On to the next question. Anyways, next question. Relationships. Avoid seniors. That's why you seniors are nasty for over here trying to date a freshman. Especially you women's. Especially you women's and you men's. Y'all mad nasty trying to date a freshman. You nasty. You nasty. Just because you couldn't get nobody with you, nobody else when you was in high school for four years don't mean you have to get a fresh new one. The ones that just got here. Let them live a little bit. Hey, like, you nasty. You know you finna leave. You know you finna dip and leave them. So why are you doing that? What sense does that make? Anyways, freshmen, don't date no seniors. Please don't. I told my sister already she's finna be a freshman. I said don't date nobody in my grade. Best believe that. You date a sophomore. You date a junior. Do not date nobody in my grade. Best believe that. Because they all ruthless. Ruthless. I already know about them. We all live life together. We all been in school together for 12 years, baby. I know. I. I know something about them. So, like. Don't do it. You could, you know, you could crush on a, uh, you know, a senior. But don't date them. Don't date them. Just don't. Just don't. You will get your heart break. Then when you get your heart break, you go wish you never did it. Then you watch all these videos and you still don't listen. So many people in every single video say don't date no don't date no seniors. You still date no seniors. What's the point of watching the video? You go still do it. At this point, go ahead and cancel yourself out. At this point, go ahead and lock yourself out. At this point, go ahead and lock yourself out. Because you're not, you're not doing this. You're not gonna be watching my videos if you're not even gonna listen. You're not, gonna, you're not gonna watch anybody's videos if you're not even gonna listen. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, um relationships should be shouldn't be the biggest thing, you know what I'm saying, on your roster. Because your grades are bigger than your relationship. Baby, it lasts longer than your relationship. And when you're in school, you meet somebody else new and college baby five years ahead but anyways friendships baby friendships you gotta lose friends best believe that i have i was friends with people who was already in high school i was friends with people who was in my grade that we we didn't even have to say bye to each other we didn't even have to say um I don't want us to be friends no more. We didn't even have to say that, baby. It was already done. One thing about me, I'm not going to tell you if our friendship is over. You know what I'm saying? It's just how it is. If we ain't talking to each other, if we ain't talked to each other in two years, and we ain't made eye contact with each other in two years, the whole time we've been in high school, baby, the friendship's over with. If we, if we, right beside each other, we ain't got nothing to say with it. Baby, the friendship is over with. No, no way you can fix that. Unless you stay in prayer. But, mm hmm. Friendship over with. Um, friendships. People go leave. People go stay. Let them leave. Do not hold nobody back. Because they just want you to chase it. Why would you look like a dummy and chase it? Just why? Just why? Just why would you want to look like that? Why would you want to look like that? Just leave. She just leave. He just leave. Whoever. Somebody leave, baby. Because that's not even... If you don't have that same blood that you had with them when you was in middle school, it's never going to be that same blood again. If you can't... If you 
and your friend cannot stay with that same blood that you had in middle school, in middle school, never that same blood again, baby. It's over with. I'm sorry to tell you. I'm sorry. And you go cry about it. You go cry about it. You got emotions. You can cry. Don't ever let nobody tell you not to cry about it because you can cry. Cry. Cry, baby, because I cried. I cried when I lost people. I cried when I lost friendships so badly. I cried like a baby. But now I'm so glad that I cried about it because now I can get over it. You let that just build up in your heart, baby. You can't get rid of no friendship. You cannot. You got to let it out. Uh, this might be TMI, but just like you got diarrhea. You can't, you can't keep the diary in. The stomach gonna keep on telling you, baby, it go out to go. It go out to go. Okay, your mind telling you, hey, it got, to, it got to go. It got to go. You go see a big old stain in the back of your pants. So you go to the bathroom because you gotta let it go. You can't keep that junk in. When you gotta pee with the bag, you can't keep that in. Keep it in, you have a bad liver. Keep. Bad liver. Black, bad gallbladder. Bad whatever. I ain't no nurse. Bad whatever. Okay? So let it out. Let it out. Let it go. Let it go. Okay. Teachers. We're going to talk about teachers. I have so many teachers who are my best friends, y'all. It don't make no sense. I have so many. They all know my name. They all know my brothers. They all know my sister. They all know my mama, baby. They all old. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. Some of them ain't old. Try to develop a friendship with your teachers, y'all try to teachers even though they old some might be young you know they old some might be young but they have they're the most funniest people ever i promise you i have friends with multiple teachers and we can both kiki and laugh about everything and i could just walk up in their room and tell them hey you doing a good job and walk back out you know what i'm saying but don't use no teacher as no pet baby you the pet that's all i got to say teach don't teach don't be using the pet. You, use the pet baby Use the pet. You go over there. Tell you, be comfortable with teachers. That's where you get the most answers. That's where you get the most help from. That's where you can be the most smartest. Get close with your teachers. Get more closer with the teacher with you than you would. You dang. <laughs> you get more teachers. I mean, <laughs> you'll get more comfortable with the teacher than you will with the principal. But yeah, get buddy buddy with your teachers. They'll help you out. This the most funniest people ever. I promise you. Build a relationship while you're in high school. Mostly. But anyways, skipping. Do not skip. Don't skip. Skipping is not the biggest thing. It won't make you. You won't be famous for skipping. Every time you skip, you get caught. You get caught. Even if you pass the first time, you get caught the second time. Don't skip. Secondly, dress code. Follow the dress code so we don't get no more dress codes. Like, be so for real. This is why we get more dress codes because y'all ain't following the dress code. Like, alright, dress codes. Some of them don't even make sense. You can't wear bandanas. You can't wear real jeans. You can't wear crop tops. If you have a crop top, wear a tank top under it. You can't wear a tank top if you got the shirt on top of it. Um, if you do wear a tank top, you can't, like, there's many times where you can't avoid the dress code. Like, you can't wear a tank top, have a jacket. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can't have your shoulders out. You can't have no spaghetti strap, noodles, shirt, whatever. Um, if you wear a crop top, wear a jacket. Because even though you wear it, you got a crop top on. You ain't got to wear a tank top, you can wear a jacket. If it's hot, then wear a tank top. You know what I'm saying? Like, if it's cold and you want to wear a crop top, wear a jacket. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's many ways where you can avoid the dress code without getting dress code. Like, it's many ways you can have, like, come on now, be so free. <laughs> if you got real jeans, put, put, like, you ain't even got to get a long, you ain't even get, got to get a long shorts. Like, you can just put it right here. Three inches to button. But at our school, it's three inches to me. Who gonna count three inches? Not me, baby. The math teacher might will. But anyways, um, just go up. Just, just get put on shorts or something. Like, okay. stress. Don't let nothing stress you out, guys. Please, I. It's be, it be honoring kids. I'm honored this year. I ain't trying to you no know, brag or nothing. A B honor, baby. Next year's gonna be A honor. Hey, I, 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 see, 
here we go. We ate honor. Hey, let's up. Uh, anyway, don't stress. Please don't stress. You break out as you stress. Think about your face. Think about what you can look like after you just got finished stressed. Like, be so for real. Do you really want to break out? Nah, just like, just like, don't stress. Don't let anything melt your mind. Not your grades, not anything. You, everything you fail, you can make back up. Just pray over it. Just look in your Bible. Just do something. Don't let that be on your mind. Just don't. The devil wants you to have stress on your mind. Any time of the day. When you sin, you stress. The devil wants you to stress out. So don't stress. Don't let that be on your mind because... Once you get it on there, you can never get it off unless you get finished stressing. And the devil's not going to let you get finished stressing until you stress again. He just won't. He won't. He won't. He won't. So don't stress. Don't let it be the biggest thing on your mind. It's okay. You got it. You get through it. I try, I'm try. i trying to be an A honors this, this year. But I know that there's going to be some things that I'm not going to be able to get. There's going to be some things where I might, you know, get a B in. But listen, it's okay. Don't stress. Don't stress. Unless you know that you... At least you know you know you did your big work. At least you know you did your, your big one. You know what I'm saying? At least you know you did good. At least you know you did something before you even get out. So yeah, don't stress. Please don't let no that be on your mind, right? Just don't. Just, just don't. And next thing, drama. This drama's like gossip. Really? Is it? Well, gossip is when you talk about folks. So don't talk about folks. Please don't. You get the gossip all the time. Just don't try to talk. But anyways, drama. You try not to get no drama. But you're going to get in drama. It's just like gossip. You try not to get no gossip. But you're going to get in gossip. It's always going to be somebody who's going to try to put you in that position. Which you do need to cut off. Because if they keep on putting you in different positions. Before you even leave in high school. Baby, they're going to do it even if y'all graduate. So Lee, cut them out. Cut them off. Like, cut them off. Real talk. Before you even get in high school, cut them off so you don't have to worry about it. You know what I'm saying? That won't be the one thing stressing your mind about drama, about gossip, about fights. If that person keep on fighting, that person keep on getting in drama, cut them off. Because they're not meant to be with nobody but they self because they need help. Best believe that. But anyways, try not to buy yourself in drama. Drama is not the biggest thing in school. Like, people be like, let's try to start drama because... They be bored. Please don't evolve around that. Do not. Drama's not the biggest thing. But next thing. Grades. This is going to be the last thing we're going to talk about. <sighs> the thing I've been talking about this whole entire time is grades. Get your grades up. But let me tell y'all something. I didn't believe in myself that I would be able to get good grades. Until. You know what I'm saying? This is my first time ever having honors. I never believed in myself. I did not care about grades. I did not care. I didn't. I didn't. I'm not even lie to you. I'm not gonna sit here and say, "Oh, grades is the biggest thing," and I and I care about grades. I didn't care about grades. I care about grades now because I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving. So like, get yourself together. Don't follow what I did. But you know what? Even though I didn't make you know good grades, I still had. First of all, I passed. I just did I wasn't big about tests. I wasn't big about benchmarks. I'm still not. I still don't know how to do benchmarks and tests. It's like that. Those are the biggest things that stresses me out, y'all. I swear, tests and benchmarks stresses me out, y'all. I promise you. I promise you, it really does. So do your best, especially because it's your first year. Let them know what you really about. Me, I had like I had 80s and 70s. I didn't have no 90s, no 100s. Last year, I had 90s and 100s and 80s. I had no 70s, baby. If I had a 70, baby, it went right back up that same day. Let's believe that. And that's what mindset you need to you need to have. That it don't matter what. Don't, don't do that. What am I trying to say? Anyway, just worry about your grades. Worry about nothing else but your grades. Listen to everybody on YouTube who's giving you these advices, y'all. We we about we about gone. I'ma see you. I'm about gone. And that's gonna be all y'all. <laughs> Great. <laughs>
Gonna be all y'all. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and share with other people. And let's get on the road to 30 subscribers, baby. Cause that's what we really need. Y'all been subscribing to everybody else, but don't want to subscribe to me. You real, you real fake about that. But when I blow up, don't say nothing. When I blow up, don't say nothing. Don't try to subscribe then. When I blow up. But anyways, I thank y'all guys for everything y'all done for me. I love and I appreciate y'all. And like we say, we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> but yeah, I'll see y'all guys later. Bye.